my name is Jennifer Turner and I am going to show you how to make painted rocks for suicide prevention today. I might give you a little background on why I paint um, suicide prevention rocks um, on August 15th, 2017. We lost my son, um, Alexander Alec Turner, to suicide. And I was looking for a hobby or something to do for grief therapy. Um, I was researching online and I was looking at Pinterest and Googling different crafts, simple crafts, something I could do with my hands that was kind of a distraction. And I came across a website that was doing painted rocks for breast cancer awareness. Um, I realized it was a very simple thing, easy, since I'm not an artist to do, and something that I could easily uh, change and make it into suicide prevention, suicide awareness um, rocks. So I started researching and um, looked at other people's painted rocks online. Then I took a trip to the local landscaping supply and there is a big pile of rocks that I go through and pick out the lightweight ones, the ones that are smooth to paint on um, and bring them home. I wash them thoroughly and then I prime them front, front and back with just a white paint from Michaels, Craft Smart Paint, and make sure that's dry. And then once that is dry, I usually pick out whatever design I want to draw or paint on the front. Um, I also, most of the time, paint a background color. It makes whatever design I've picked and whatever message I decide to put on the rock stand out um, a little better if you, if you paint a background. You can also just leave it the natural color and those turn out really nice also. Once I've picked out my design and my message, I start painting. And I use Craft Smart Paint and I also use these wonderful paint pens by Posca. These are my favorite. They don't run, they don't fade in the sun, um, they blend real easy, they're good for doing detail work and excellent for doing your words uh, for your message. Then once I've got my rock done and it has dried, I do the back. And the back is the most important part. It has all the suicide prevention awareness numbers. It has the 800 number hotline. It also has the text and crisis number. And then after I'm done, with my rocks, I spray them with an acrylic, acrylic sealer. Uh, this Mod Podge is an example. You can get this at Michael's, order it on Amazon. But there's even a better one they sell at Home Depot that does not yellow um, in the sun. Um, and that's probably a better choice. But I do use this on occasion. After I've finished rocks, I leave them all over the area. I leave them all over Palo Alto. I leave them wherever we travel. I uh, have friends and family who take them all over the world and leave them when they're on vacation. And um, it's one little thing that I can do um, for my son Alec um, in memory to bring some awareness to suicide, to make someone's day a little bit better. Um, and it's easy to do. Um, you, like I said, you do not have to be an artist. Um, you can do the most simple little design, put something real positive on the front or just something kind, leave it around the area. I do believe that people find them uplifting when they find them. Um, I do have a Facebook um, page called Alex Army where people um, record where they've picked them up, where they've been left, where they take them. They send me messages on how um, it has affected their life if they found one. I leave them at the train tracks. I leave them anywhere I think might be meaningful in the area. And like I said, they're very simple to do. Um, and you can come up with your own little designs. You can give it to a friend who's having a bad day or just set them in your room for something positive to look at when you get up in the morning. Um, they're very helpful. And um, I hope just with this simple little craft idea and with what I'm doing with them is that they save a life and that's what they're there for. To know that you're enough, you are worthy, 
You are not alone. This world is a better place with you in it. And you are greatly loved. Have a great day. Thanks.